If you're going to Kenya as a tourist and you need a visa, you will need to get this ahead of time as Kenya doesn't issue visas on arrival. So first, you need to go to their official website, which I have linked in the description below. Once you've done that, go ahead and create an account. Once you're signed in, go ahead and click e-visa application. The first section is just some important information you need to go over, especially the requirements for your Kenya visa. So first, you really need to take a look at your passport's validity dates. I can't tell you how many people I've seen find out that their passport isn't valid for travel because it has less than six months validity from when they depart the country they're going to. So make sure that you check your passport's validity. If it's not going to have enough validity, you do need to renew your passport and you won't be able to do your visa until after you get your new passport. Once you've gone over everything and you understand the requirements, go ahead and click Next. You'll then be taken to this page where you need to select if the e-visa applicant is an adult or a minor. For the purposes of this example, we'll say it's an adult. Then go ahead and click Next. So on this page, they want to know your nationality and residence. So once you've completed that information, go ahead and click Next. On this page, you're going to enter in your passport information. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Next. On this page, they want to know your travel information. Have you ever been to Kenya? Answer yes or no. And are you traveling with a minor? Yes or no. Once you finish this section, go ahead and click Next. On this page, they want to know what kind of visa you're applying for. For the purposes of this example, we're going to say single entry visa. Then click Next. On this page, you're just going to fill in your information. And once you've done that, go ahead and click Next. On this page, they want to know your travel information. Why are you coming to Kenya? Well, you're coming for tourism, so go ahead and select that. Then in the next bits, you're going to want to put your proposed date of entry, your departure, your host details. Is it a hotel? Put your hotel's information in. Then once you're done, go ahead and click next. On this page, they just want you to answer some questions about your travel history, perhaps if you've ever been denied entry to another country, and if you've been convicted of any offenses under any system of law. Go ahead and answer these questions truthfully, and once you're done, click next. On this page, they're just going over the photo requirements. So have a read through this and make sure you understand them and take your picture according with the requirements. Once you've read and understood, go ahead and click that button and then click Next. On this page, you need to upload a copy of your passport. They want the passport size photo that they talked about in that previous page. They also want a front cover of your passport and the bio data page. That's gonna be that page that has your picture and all of your details. They also want a copy of the, your onward ticket and any supporting documents you may have. Also, take a note of the size requirement. If your image does not meet that requirement, it just won't upload. So make sure that your images are below that requirement. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Next. So on this screen, what you need to do is just look over your application, make sure everything is correct, and then have a scroll down and make sure that you've got everything and once you're done, go ahead and click Complete. On this page, what you need to do is review your application and make sure you're happy with all of the details. Definitely scroll down to that bottom where you see it says Print Visa Authority in Color and Present it at the Port of Entry on Arrival. Make sure that you get this done. Once you've confirmed that everything is in order, go ahead and click that Declaration button and then Preview. On this page, you're going to fill in your payment details and then you're going to submit it. Once you pay, your visa application will be submitted and it will take probably about a week. I will say from experience that Kenya visa applications tend to end up in your spam folder. So definitely check there. You can also log back into the system and check the status of your visa application. Make sure you print that copy of your visa and then you're good to go. It's that easy.